So we're gonna have a best of five set right here. Hyperhero against Feeble Star. Feeble Star ended up 2 0 wrenched, which is, you know, very surprising, as we said. Uh, he made a rage tweet about Mordex. <laughs> I felt like that was coming, but uh, it's gonna be a good set right here. Feeble Star should be playing the Mordex like he did, or the Artemis that we saw earlier. Well, Hyperhero is going to be playing the Koji. Yeah, good call there. Feeble Star with that Mordex. Repping the dog days. Classy summer skin. And here we go, on to map banning. Living Mammoth, Great Hall. Looks like we're going to be going to Great Hall here. Yeah, Great Hall, showing a surprising amount of popularity lately. Usually you only see Mammoth. Yeah, and Mammoth, that's pretty odd. Three, two, one, yeah, like, I'm surprised that like, Great Hall wasn't always a big pick. But here we are getting into the match right now. Both players have their weapons. And feeling each other out. Hyper Hero taking the early lead with his sword here. He's got a few more. Hyper Hero does have a lot of experience against Mordek because he does farm main sandstorm a lot. So, Feeble Star should be not as threatening as he looks here going against Hyper Hero. As you can see, he has the huge lead against him. A nice dare into Falling Tider into Weapon Throw. Edge guard situation right here. Did Feeble Guard? No, he didn't. Oh, I did not touch. Just barely missed it. Well, second stock. Let's see how Feeble can turn it around here. Let's see what the man who be beat Wrench has got. Nice satellite to down like Neutralite. Yeah, hyper popping out those uh, classic bowstrings there. Ooh. And feeble, feeble keeping the side there. Trying to guard the edge. He's trying to find a kill option. He's uh, really fishing for those side airs and recoveries off stage, but he doesn't seem to connect anything. Hyper Hero is just like. Zoning out that whole area with those Sairs, those Neutralites on boats, covering what like basically what Gaunt can do. Oh, that was amazing. Falling Sair into Dash down there. Gonna take off the sock right here. Yeah, fantastic bow play coming out of uh, Hyper Hero, giving Feeble Star some real trouble right now. Are we gonna see a three stock? Feeble Star having some trouble right now. It's Hyper Hero totally feeling it right now. There we go. Finally, Feeble Star takes out that first stock with a big recovery. Finally getting that kill. Kosselix. I mean, not Kosselix. <laughs> Hyper Hero. <laughs> Kosselix Mom Hero. That's still that huge lead on a Feeble Star. Feeble Star can't get a read. Oh, finally, a Satellite Recovery into Dare. It's a nice damage. Yeah, good dodge. Uh, Feeble Star doing a great job of missing those six. Or I suppose I should say dodging those six. But yeah, again, uh, Hyper Hero just all over the edge with that bow. Not giving Feeble Star a chance to get back onto the stage. It looks like it's going to be over right here. He just needs a simple edge guard. Yeah, single dare which should finish him off at this point. And the side oh. recovery. Oh, the side recovery does not hit. He should have chase dodged that. And that's going to be it right there. That'll do it. Hyper Hero takes game one in pretty convincing fashion. Feeble Star. Star. Yeah, thinking about if he should stick the Mordex. Switch to his uh, Juro that I forgot about and his Artemis. It's gonna be interesting what he's gonna play right here. Yeah, Feeble Star looking not all that great that first round. Here's hoping that was just a uh, download round and he can turn things around on Hyper Hero this game too.
Yeah, he's opting to stick with that Mordex pick. And they're both opting to stay at Great Hall. Three, two, one, brawl! I wonder if it's more like you said, if people are practicing their ledge canceling more and more. That's giving them more aerial options around the stage to have all these ledges here. Maybe that's, yeah, for sure. Maybe that's the big change in the meta that's made Great Hall more popular. People start getting a nice side string onto Hyper Hero here, but Hyper Hero still seems to be winning neutral, no matter what People Star is trying to do here. His falling sider should be just like really good, and People Star can't get the read off of him. Yeah, Hyper Hero once again, he has the life lead, but it's not, it's a bit closer this time than it was the first game. People Star knocks Hyper Hero off the map. It's a. Uh, Hyper Hero makes his way back up thanks to that platform. <laughs> People start dodging the SIGs that uh, Hyper Hero's throwing out like crazy right there. People start looking for that kill option. Side SIG doesn't connect, but no punish. Oh, another neutral light? One more and it's gonna kill, it has to. One more. Oh! So close. Oh, Sider, not going to kill. People start with a huge. I don't know what that Daltic was. He didn't punish the recovery. Yeah, it's a huge hard read there, but. Uh... Well, whatever. They've both made it back onto stage. He's still putting some weapon, uh, some weapon damage there onto Hyper Hero. Oh, the Sider is going to kill. Well done. Again, this this is closer than the first game. If Feeble Star can uh, can take out this first stock of Hyper Heroes, things will be much more evenly matched. <laughs> My boy Ethan getting some messages there. Feeble Star making his way back onto stage yet again. Seems to be. That way, most of the match, that Hyper Hero just has total control of the stage. Except for right there when he loses his stock. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back. I heard that your steam was going off. Yeah, my uh, friend was acting, you know. <laughs> it's all good, man. All good. Yeah, I, uh,. Put on Duran Disturb, so we should be chilling now. Nice. Well, once again, Hyper Hero has total stage control. Feeble Star fighting to grab a foothold. Hyper Hero content to let uh, Feeble Star languish off the side, and as soon as he tries to get back up, Hyper Hero's right recovery there. recovery finishes off Feeble Star's stock. And this is like uh, the last game, you know? Hyper has a whole stock lead against Feeble Star. Feeble Star just doesn't know what to do against them. This amazing bow play coming out, just oh, look wow. at it. He does not have a recovery, but Feeble Star cannot capitalize off of that. Yeah. Finally, Feeble Star is sitting at the center of the stage now. He's got a chance to uh, turn things around to gain the stage control. Both players doing a great job of dodging each other's attacks there. Oh, there you go, ground pound. Ground pound is finally going to do it. So for the first time this set, Hyper Hero's down to his last stock. His feeble star starting to feel him out. Weapon toss doesn't uh, continue the string though. And just like that, down light Sair, Hyper Hero takes game two. He just needs one more game to go into Grand Finals to confirm himself second place. He's just playing so well right now with his bow. Yeah, he's doing a great job. It, he just needs to stay the course. It's Feeble Star who really needs to find something. Well, having said that, Feeble Star, the second game, he is looking quite a bit better. So here's hoping that uh, 
he can complete the adjustments he made. Maybe he can turn this around a uh, reverse three stalker, reverse three game. It looks like we totally have the real ride in there in stream chat. I'm joined by uh, Trix's boy Barry. At Alex BH. Shoutouts to Devno. We got AZR who still wants Bodvar just for completion's sake. Oh, we've got Cheezer there. We've got Easy. Hi, Easy. Do a lot of people, when they finish, do they say GG Easy? Yeah, as expected, Feeble Star finally switching on to the Jiro, like I mentioned earlier. His Jiro's really good. Uh, I wonder how this is going to go right here. Yeah, is, is this going to be the change Feeble Star needs? His, his Mordex obviously wasn't working out. It could be, you know, it could be. And Sword, Sword is so meta right now, so... Let's see how it goes. We're moving Three, on to Shipwreck two, Falls for this one, game. Yeah, Hyper Hero has the uh, first sword. But Feeble's got the second one. Let's see how the sword fight goes. Like you said, they just start feeling each other out. Looks like Hyper Hero's feeling it more first. People start had a neat uh, gravity cancel string going on there. Oh! Well, yeah, so far this is looking closer still. Again, Hyper Hero has the early lead, but both players are in the red now. For sure, for sure. Uh, Hyper Hero coming with that downline to neutralize. People Star seems to get a better grasp on Hyper Hero is playing. Maybe the map change was needed so we couldn't do all that fancy uh, dash movement that People Star just couldn't like understand what he was doing. But uh, Hyper Hero playing slow on H on uh, off stage, knowing that that recovery or ground pound is about to come off of Scythe, but he still gets that reverse there. Oh. People Star just looking for that unarmed neutral heavy there, just sitting there. I guess once you commit to it, you got to commit all the way. Yeah, again, Feeble Star is the first to lose a stock, but uh, he's not too far behind Hyper Hero in the deep red right now. Feeble Star just needs to find a kill as soon as he can. Oh, and there he goes. Single dare does it. So both players on their second stock now. Feeble Star has taken a hit or two. It didn't take just that much to turn things around. Back and forth right now, just feeling each other out, playing it a little safer. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, nice dodger, but he overcommitted too much, and he they're both going to die, actually. Oh, oh. Yeah, Hyper Hero couldn't make it back, so... This is even. Both players on their last stock, starting at the same time. Yeah, Hyper Hero taking the early lead. Fuel Star, oh, finally dodges the uh, end of that bowstring. This looks really bad for Fuel Star right now because Hyperio is just playing insane with this bow, winning the neutral over Fuel Star. He's not sure what to do right here. Hyperio's yeah. spacing is just like really good right now. Yeah, he's got to knock that bow out of uh, Hyper Hero's hands somehow. The scythe look, looks like it might be his last chance here. Oh, oh, going for a dodge read there. Doesn't quite pick it up. It uh, looks like Hyper Hero is moving upwards a lot after each scythe hit. I wonder if Feeble Star will recognize that and capitalize on it. Feeble Star is in kill percentage. I think Hyper Hero should slow it down right here, grab the sword so I can get an easy kill confirm. Oh, Ooh. and look like that's gonna be it. Feeble Star messed up with re recovery, and Hyper Hero was just able to capitalize with that down air. Yeah, Feeble Star had no option but to move straight up, and Hyper Hero capitalized on that, like you said, just had to dare. 
quick and simple.